Well, good evening from Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday versus Sheffield United. And we're playing in a cup, not a popular cup, but a very, very popular match down here at Hillsborough. It's the Zenith Data Systems Cup, second round at Northern Section. Well, that's the title of the competition. Let's now meet the players. Kicking in at the spine cup end, we have Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield Wednesday lineup with Kevin Pressman in goal. Number two is Nigel Pearson. Three, Phil King. Number four, Carlton Palmer. Five, Peter Shirtliff. Six is Lodden, Laurie Madden. Seven, Dave Bennett. Eight, John Sheridan. Nine, David Hurst. Number 10 is Dalian Atkinson. And 11 is Nigel Worthington. The two substitutes for Wednesday are Craig Shakespeare and David Lysett. Well, that's the Wednesday team. Uh, Wednesday bringing in Nigel Worthington to wear the number 11 shirt. They've got Nigel Pearson wearing the number two shirt. And, they, of course, the two strikers, the only man that has scored in the Wednesday first division uh, competition, David Hurst and Dalian Atkinson. Across over at the Leffins Lane end, we have Sheffield United. Sheffield United lineup with Simon Tracy in goal. Number two is Colin Hill. Number three, welcome back to David Barnes. He's taken the place of Rostron, who's returned to Hillsborough. Number four is Bob Booker. Five, the skipper there, Paul Stancliffe. Number six, Mark Morris. Seven is Carl Bradshaw. Eight, John Gannon. And then, of course, we come to the strike force. Number nine, Tony Agana and Brian. Number 10 is Brian Dean. And on the left flank, Ian Bryson back again. The substitutes, John Francis, and a welcome return again to Simon Webster. The referee tonight is Joe Worrell, and he's assisted by linesman Mr. Jay Corklin and Mr. P. Cullen. You can probably hear through the microphone a very large crowd, all ticket, 30,600 people uh, have bought tickets, so we take it that that is the crowd. Uh, I've got uh, Daryl Bentley here alongside me. Daryl, what's your forecast for tonight? Well, Tony, the way Sheffield United has been performing away from home this season, anything can happen. They're undefeated away from home, and it's their home form that suffered a little bit in the recent matches. But according to if Sheffield United do play like they do away from home, I think we're in for a good match. Don't forget, Daryl, you lost at Rotherham in the cup. And this is another cup match, you could well lose this one as well. That's a bit of wishful thinking. I'm the Wednesday night, you're the United night, right? But there's one thing though, Tony, Sheffield United did play very, very well. Well, it's, uh, it's Sheffield United, Sheffield United now attacking the spying cup goal. Sheffield United have come out brightly as you would expect, that often happens with the away side. And they obviously looking for that long ball through to a guard. It was a very good ball. And in fact, he did the wrong thing by trying to flick it on. He might have uh, carried on himself. But Wednesday coming straight back into it now. And a chance for Phil King. The first shot of the match went to Wednesday. It's pretty even so far. It's uh, Atkinson, a good long ball there uh, from Bryson. Onto the head of Bradshaw. Now Wednesday under a little bit of pressure here. Fires it in and a good shot there from Bryson. And quickly down there was Pressman. And that brought the crowd to life there. Bennett to Atkinson to Palmer. Sheridan. Good ball inside there by Sheridan. Now what can Wednesday do? Bennett. Oh, and he was a little bit too lethargic. Oh, and a bit bad miss there and by David Hurst. And merely Wednesday had two or three chances. And in the end, they should have done a lot better. Everybody else around and are ready to be around. The ball comes across there. It's cleared and it's played away, but uh, the linesman... Well, the linesman flagged and then he stopped flagging. Uh, for me, Agana's got that little bit more finesse. But now it's Atkinson. Good goal by Atkinson! And that was a superb strike! It was a good through ball! And Atkinson won't score many better goals in a match. Well, John, what a good start for Atkinson tonight. You know, that was very similar to the one that he missed at Derby on Saturday and that he threaded his way through into the middle and by gum he knew where the net was, didn't he? He cracked that one, it was a fit. no goalkeeper on earth would stop those. And it all depended on one thing, Darrell, pace. His pace just blistered 
the United defence. He killed him there. That was a great striker's goal. Shirtley. Onto the head of Booker. And now it's a good chance here for Agana. Good save. But Dean comes out. Bad miss, but he's still not cleared it. And it's cleared somehow for the corner. Well, Sheffield United had the chances there. Not one chance, not two chances, but three chances there. The corner comes across there. It's a good, th thoughtful corner there. Bryson sends it in. And it's in. Yes. Oh, and Pressman won't be disappointed with that. A shot that he really ought to have stopped. A good long shot there. But really, Pressman ought to have held it. And it's 1 1 and everything to play for. John. Tragic mistake by Pressman. And how ironic that a goal should come like that when they just had three far better chances. Not able to take any of them. Sheridan, Sheridan, you or, or Worthington. Now, the last saw match, Sheridan just tipped it over the, and there he put it again, but not far away. Good effort. Yeah, he's very adept at that. Uh, I think Yorkshire Television fans will remember him scoring in the playoffs to get into Division One against Charlton Athletic with a very similar effort, which just crept under the bar. That was just over. I was expecting him to slip it to his right and for Phil King to have a blast because he can hit them with his left foot. But Sheridan's bright enough to know he, the chance was on. He could make the angle, he just didn't get it uh, low enough. Of course, he's the king here, isn't he, really? You know, he's, at the moment, he's, uh, he's the man that makes it all happen. And there it is, half-time. Half-time, Sheffield Wednesday won, Sheffield United won. Nicely chested down and nice Atkinson again. Tracy marking that near post as he didn't mark it on Saturday and Sheffield Wednesday claimed the first corner in the second half. It's been all Wednesday the last ten minutes, a quarter of an hour, still looking for that breakthrough. They, oh, here's a chance, and it's Palmer. He got in there, did Carlton Palmer round the back of United's defence. He stood on his own and I suppose some United fans will be wondering if he was in an offside position. I think he just broke early. Got into the uh, shooting position and he was no more than three or four yards out when he put it into the net. So Sheffield Wednesday get the goal that their pressure probably deserves. That's 2 1 up. Out Bryson, Dean on that far side. For Dean. Still Brian Dean. And it's there! Sheffield United have equalised! And it's Booker! I said Sheffield United wasn't down to this match and it proved me right again. Tony, I think really it showed there that Pearson's carrying that injury and I think if we'd have had a, full, a fit fullback, we might have got away with that, John. Yeah, but hand it to Sheffield United. They only had, what, about five minutes in which to come back and they've done it. They had a good chance that Dean had about three attempts at that one and it's only because he got long legs, I think that he was able to stretch and ram it in, and Bob Booker... Oh, and here come United again with Atkinson inside the penalty area, and Tracy makes the save. It's a heart stop, Chris, I thought you were going to jump out of the box then, Daniel. And as we talk now, it, it's uh, Dean. Dean, Gannon, Sheridan. Sheridan on a sortie. Now, what can he produce here on the edge of the area? The jinx in, comes round and fires it in! And what a goal! Oh, that was a masterpiece! Now, that was one to win in any match at all. That was a brilliant goal. Darrell saying they never close him down, but what do you do when a player plays like that, John? Sheridan won the ball 10 yards inside his own half. He's run 50, 55 yards. He's dribbled inside two players and he's smashed it into the roof of the net. That's a goal of a season. And that's what Sheridan can do. It's his first goal for Sheffield Wednesday. And it's one he'll never forget. And one everybody in this ground is never going to forget. Well, there can't be very many minutes or seconds left in this match. Into the heart of the penalty area. And there it is. The final whistle to end this super match down here at Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday go through by the closest of margins. And I think, Tony, 
you can be well pleased with the performance by both teams down here tonight. We're joking on one side, uh, Darrell. We're the first division team. We've all had that advantage, and that's just about been a little bit of difference. Wednesday have played exceedingly well, but so have United. Somebody had to win. Wednesday's won by the odd goal, and I think that's about fair. John. And it's been a marvellous occasion, a tribute to football in the city of Sheffield. I think Sheffield Wednesday deserve to win. I think they've just had that edging quality. People like Sheridan, uh, he's had an excellent match. But Sheffield United have shown that they've got a lot of character. Uh, they're a powerful side. And as I said earlier, I hope that they're coming back here next year as a first division team. And how good it is now to see the two teams shaking hands and going together to applaud the fans. The fans have had a wonderful night here. The two teams have done them both proud.